Hey guys, I want to show you a real cool feature in Studio One um, regarding what they call music loops. So these are little loops that have been created from instrument tracks within Studio One. So I'm going to fire up kind of a stock loop here that they had. And um, you can see I can audition this guy to hear what it's going to sound like. All right, so I like where that's going. All right, so now you can see here, I'll drag this guy in. This is all pretty pretty basic at this point. Now I've got that in here. Now, basically what this does, when you, when you store files as music loops, um, like instrument tracks with MIDI on them as music loops, it actually saves your entire setup. So you can see over here, I've got an instance of EQ, I've got beat delay, and then it looks like it has some automation that's been written in there. Um, so now I have it in here to manipulate. Okay, so that's all cool. Now, let's say that... Um, I had actually created this myself, and I wanted to save it um, just to kind of show here. I'm going to go ahead and bypass those inserts. Um, now, what I'll do is I'll go over here to my files. I've created a folder, and I just take this event, and I just throw it in there. And now what it's doing, it's creating a couple different kinds of files. It's creating a, a .flac file, which is basically like a, a bounce of what the audio will sound like. So you can actually preview it. So now I can preview it. Okay. Now if I right click on here, show package contents, you can see that it's created a number of different files. It's got the FLAC file just to preview it. It's got regular old MIDI. It's got uh, higher resolution MIDI. And then it's got the, the instrument track settings. So basically what I can do now is I just drag this guy in. I'll do it on a new track. Okay, now you can see I have exactly what I just did there. The inserts are bypassed, but they're the same as what they were. So this is a real cool way to kind of, if you make a loop, like a four on the floor kick pattern or something, and you've got a real slam and drum sound, I mean, how many times do you want to have to program a four on the floor? Um, you can just drag the the actual event into the browser into a certain folder and it saves your preset and it saves all the MIDI data and everything you need basically um, and you can just import it right in and all your settings are there and it's ready to go so I think that's a really cool kind of time-saving feature alright guys root wrecked out Blah!